In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image to a page on Physiopedia. So the first thing we need to do, let's find a page where we want to add an image. So we're going to add an image to this page, the upper limb tension test page in Physiopedia. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we're in editing mode. So to do this, we go to the edit drop down menu toolbar and we choose the edit option. So what this will do is bring us into editing mode and here we can see at the top the editing navigation toolbar. So the next thing I need to do is make sure that I put my cursor where I want my image to go. So I want my image to sit here. So I then go up to the navigation toolbar and I click insert and I choose media. That's not what I want so let me just put in this is what the one I want to use here. So I click on that. It's important to remember when you are looking for images, if you put in more than one word, it is case sensitive. So you have to be aware of that. So if you can't find what you're looking for the first time, try again using maybe title case or sentence case. So here now you can see, we're going to use this image. So we click here. And this takes us to the imaging property box here. Now you can see the media settings appear. And this is where you make some additional changes like adding a caption or form formatting your image and also choosing its location on the page. So let's add a caption. And then let's go into the advanced settings. Now I want my image to appear on the right, but this gives you the option to put it on the left. You can also change the appearance of your image. So you can have a thumbnail. Um, you can have frameless, framed, so you can choose all those options here and you can also change the size of the image down here. But we're going to leave the size the same, we're going to use a thumbnail and we're going to position it to the right of our text. So let's press insert now and there we can see our image. So I just want to show you something else um, about uploading and adding an image to a page. If we actually go back to the insert option and choose media, we can see it also gives us the option to upload our image. You can see it, it allows us to select our file and confirm this is our own work. Now we actually prefer that you do not use this setting because when we use this setting, all it gives you is the option to add a name for the image and a description. It does not allow you to choose the licensing information or add any attributions, and this is very important. But if you do decide to upload your image in this way, you would need to add the licensing details and any attributions later. So it's actually a little bit more work. So the best way to upload an image, you can see the tutorial uploading image files. So now let's go back to our page. So let's save our page now. And if we scroll back up to the top, we can see where we inserted our image here. So adding an image is really quite simple.